look like the Queen of Hearts. Oh, for the hat! <laughs> I really, really do. <laughs> the little king is Pete. Oh, for the hat! <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Somebody please, if anybody wants to make my fucking life, can somebody like Photoshop or do a picture of the Queen of Hearts with my face and the little king with pizza's face? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hello, it's Karen. And Ruth. Hello. Hello. So, um, well... We thought we'd do a slightly different um, video today and we have actually delved into the depths of the Twiglet Zone. The Twiglet Zone. Do, 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 do. Spot on. Yep. And uh, dressed for the occasion, as you can see, Ruth, you look divine as uh, a witch. Uh, well, I look divine in everything, darling. Yeah. You're looking a little boxy in yours, but never mind. Yeah, we might. See it better later. No, we will probably won't actually. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so we've got a video of uh, Shazza, Chantal, <laughs> um, doing a mukbang, but it's not about the mukbang and it's not really about what she's eating. It's about what she's got to say. So, shall we? Shall crack we? Crack on? Yeah. Hello, guys. Hello. Welcome back to another video. I'm super hungry. This has to cool off a bit. We've been just living very uneventful lives. And, um, but it's peaceful. <laughs> Which is why we're so, like, dumbfounded. The amount of people on the internet who just have to make so much drama out of our lives that are just so boring now. You know what I mean? Seamless editing there, Karen. Well done. Well, I know. It's it's top-notch, isn't it? It's, it is top-notch. Yeah. I don't have Photoshop and um, oh, <laughs> bugger all editing software. Really, There's now process. wrong with not, <laughs> knocked it together at home. That's what I always say. Uh, Come it's on. a bit like Blue Peter. Here's what I mean, really, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> anyway... What did she say? Oh, they've oh. got a very boring life. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. the mystic cards are telling me it's not going to be boring in the future. Well, the mystic cards are actually shouting to me that was not quite true at the time. I think it was at the time. Do you reckon? Yeah, back in, that was back in November. Well, anyway, I've got my own theories, but... We haven't got time for those now. Yes, what did you say the feeling was? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, scripted to perfection here. <laughs> what are we talking about? I don't know, let's move on. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but you are all idiots. You are. Along with your entire audience. Furthermore is the things they discuss are none of their business. Like, like our sex life. Like we are a Muslim couple and we are very private about that. That's none of your business. No, no, she's quite right. Isn't she's she? absolutely good Muslim couple, keeping it quiet. Yeah, none of our business none, whatsoever. Absolutely. No, but you what? know, I'm getting a feeling from the cards that um, in the future, December time, maybe, that things are going to go a little bit awry. Do you think so? I had a vision, you know. Did you? Yeah. Do you think then it might not stay quite so private? Possibly. Wow. I had a, um, being an oracle of the future, Yeah. I had a vision where I saw certain naughtiness going on with Salah. No. Mm -hmm. You mean untowardness? Untowardness <gasps> involving another lady. Get out of here. Uh-huh. But I don't know if my vision was right, but it got much worse. Whoa. Salah is very providing. He's very loving. He's not abusive. And the rest is not your business. Right, bollocks to the mystic cards. I've had enough of them. 
<laughs> Let's get real. <laughs> Salah's very providing and very loving. Very um, not abusive. Not abusive and... Um, the rest... Have, Hasn't got any strange fetishes. No. At all. Perish the thought. Yeah. And actually, it's none of our business. No, I think she just forgot to say that, though, didn't she? That, you know, Salah might have some little issues going you, on on the side. Do you reckon she might have known about those little issues? I think she probably knew some of them. I think some of them he could have let out, like his dominant side in the bedroom. Uh, yes, so. yes. I'm not particularly talking the R word, but, you know, no. maybe, maybe more... Dominant. Dominant. A slightly a alpha male. Alpha male, maybe slightly, a, you know, controlled aggression kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't anyway. really want to know. It's all, it's all not aged very well, though, has it? Not at all. I'm sure I could make way more views if I talked crap about these people every day and involved myself in the drama. But I'm never going to do that. Well, one thing she's spot on about there, she got a lot more views by talking about the crap. Yeah. Didn't she? Also, I mean, we know one person that does like to talk crap about things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Particularly to other ladies of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I'm dragging my mind away from that plate of food she's eating because ah, that's a corridor I don't want to go down. <laughs> the Scatman special. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, we know who does like to talk crap. Yeah. Shazza. <laughs> None of what these people say are true. We're private about our intimate life. We're Muslim. We can't talk about that stuff here. I don't think the actual religion's got anything to do with it. When you think about the stuff that they're, that's been exposed, you wouldn't want to talk about that anywhere at any time, whatever religion you were. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they might not be able to talk about it there, but Salah certainly managed to talk about it online, didn't she? Oh, yes. <laughs> to, uh, who was it? Oh, some weirdo. Kate Bella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, oh. She makes my toes curl. You've never said. <laughs> she, she makes my toes curl more than his conversation. I'm not kidding. She's, there's just something about her that's like I've got red to, flag, red flag, red flag. Red I've flag. got to admit, uh, once I heard about his delectation for that that type of thing, um, uh, there wasn't much else that I thought about. Well, not that I was thinking. Oh dear, let me rephrase that. Yes, I see your point, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Salah's an amazing man and fulfills every need imaginable. I don't think you fulfill every need imaginable in him, though, Shazza. I think uh, something's lacking. How do you think so, Karen? Uh -huh. yeah. I just don't want to imagine... I don't want to even think about her unimaginable needs. Um. So, at, at that point, I'll... Hand it back to you. Well, she hasn't got any. I mean, she's purely mystery, isn't she? She's so vanilla. Starfish. Starfish, yeah. So she says. So, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you know, we shouldn't mention the fact that she talks about anal sex. Picking and, dangleberries off her bottom. Yeah, and other such... Um, Things. Gross, grossnesses. Untowardness, <laughs> we call it. Where are your kids when you talk about these vile things? Are they at home when you talk about our sex life, when you talk about uh, just shaming in every way? Like, is that a good example for them, or what? Okay, the mystic card has just kicked back in. It's just spoken to me. Shazza, if I were you, I'd keep other people's kids out your mouth. Just saying, sorry, speaking about other people's kids. Yeah, we don't go down that route. But Get... anyway, while she's busy talking about other people's kids and are they a role model, let's just say, what kind of role model is Salah for anybody? Well. You know, or her come to that. when I mean, look at her history. 
on YouTube and all right, she's deleted most of her videos, but they're all still out there. Ooh. All the reaction channels have got them. Ooh. Look at your look at your disgusting behaviour online and don't talk about anybody else being a role model for kids. Yes. You're not a standard set of Shazza. No, you're certainly you're, not. You're uh... And you don't have any kind of moral high ground. Oh she got no morals, no, no. moral compass. Put a, put a hijab on and then reckon that you're moral. No, it doesn't work like that, love. Man, she's she's a misogynist. She hates women. She does. She does. But I'll tell you what she needs to do. Read the fucking Quran, love. Yeah. And what Karen meant by that was read the holy Quran, my dear. <laughs> That's what I said in it. <laughs> Ruth and I differ so great. <laughs> She'll get the flip charts out and the overhead projector and give you a whole lecture yeah. on getting a point across. I could do a seminar. Whereas I can generally do it in three words. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when she talks about um, certain other YouTubers who are going to remain nameless, she'll say, oh, she's a card. <laughs> and I'll say, she's a, see you next Tuesday. Yeah. Or she's a full car. <laughs> yeah. I can generally describe anybody in three words. Always. Anyway. Same old, same old crap, as they say. Ruth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> who, who who talks about crap? <laughs> you mean the, the same old, same old crap? <laughs> yeah, because um, as they say... <laughs> Oh, yeah. The same old, same old crap. Yeah. I don't generally talk about crap. No. I might talk crap. No, you don't. But I don't talk about crap. No, no. You know. That must just be a, a her and him thing, him, her thing. An intimate thing. Uh, yes. And it's very private. Nobody very else's private. business. Nobody else's business. Nobody knows about it. Well, thank the Lord for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you tell that was delicious? Every time I make this... I love it. Salah loves it. <laughs> Salah loves it. I wonder what the recipe for that was like. Just saying. Because I wasn't going to focus on that great big... Pile of cow <laughs> 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 oh, it's like shooting fish in a barrel with this one, isn't it? She's so easy, isn't she? Too easy. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that matter. Back to uh, living our lives while um, cowardly hypocrites pick it apart at every turn. I don't think it was hypocrites that picked a life apart. And I don't think they were cowardly. I think it was a gift that no bit, the gift that keeps on giving <laughs> and giving. <laughs> and she'll never live it, we'll never let it lie. No, she'll never live it down. She'll never live it down. I, and this whole... And, She's just uploaded another vlog as well. And Has I, she? I cast on it. It was so boring. I just I can't even. Oh, is she in Q8? No, she's oh. the, it was the last vlog in Canada. It was so fucking boring. Was so, it in the car? Uh, yeah, partly, but it was just rubbish. Oh. It was just absolute rubbish. So I'm not even gonna. Oh, we're not. We're not making any comment on that. We're just. But, um, we're just tourists in Chantopolis, aren't we? Yeah, we dive in and we dive out again. Yeah, we just go for a laugh, really. Cause, yeah. yeah. Generally, she's quite funny, but... Um, she's bloody hilarious. I think she, when she goes back to QA, I, I'm not I'm not hopeful that a channel's going to last long. And let's face it, if they start doing the couples vlogs, they just yeah. get the piss ripped out of them, well, aren't they? yes. I mean, we'll rip the piss out of them. Yes. So, so will everybody else. Yeah. Anyway. So I'll say, okay, why are you with that ugly fat people? You can have someone like me! Why do you guys think I'm disgusting? Why do you guys think that no men will talk to me because I'm gross? <laughs> oh, come back, Chantal, all is forgiven. <laughs> we love the bees in, don't we? Oh, she was as gross, but funny. Yeah, she was funny, yeah. A little stomach churning. Yeah. You got yeah. you don't eat your tea and watch her. No, but she was she was funny at times. She was a good mimic as well. I don't know who that was she was mimicking, but <laughs> I, I sort of um Got the gists, yeah. as it were. <laughs> anyway, that's all we've got to say about Chantal. So yeah. on the screen is um, a video from a channel called Rebellion who did an interview with Mr Snowflake. Um, small channel, they've only got 
Well, they only had about 300 odd views, but it's well worth the watch if you're a Mr. Snowflake fan. Actually, the views for that video have gone up to over 2,000 now. Oh, well, there you go. So but people his, are fine. His subscribership then. is very low. Yeah. But he has interviewed Mr. Snowflake on two other occasions. Um, he and Mr. Snowflake became friends right in the early days when Mr. Floats, Mr. Flo, Mr. Snowflake <laughs> started. And this chap, um, whose name escapes me, I do apologise, he knew then Mr. Snowflake was going to be phenomenal. Yeah. But it's well worth a watch and it restores your faith in humanity. Yeah, and also, who doesn't like looking at Mr Snowflake? Well, who doesn't? You know. He's not quite up to Jimmy Bunker standard, but... <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, Jimmy! Dear. Anywho, that's all we've got to say on this subject. Yeah, isn't that's... It? Um, I'm just going to say, uh, Karen did spend... Because we don't have the equipment for this, but Karen spent a lot of time setting up those cards. Ta what was it? Mystic the cards. Mystic cards. And then, after about three of them, she said, oh, I've had enough of these <laughs> mystic cards. She's not a stayer. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit of a naysayer in the world of mysticism and sorrow cards. I'm a strong believer, but... Such like, That's so. for another day. Yeah, so, anyway, that's thank, it from us. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Like, um, please like and subscribe. Oh, you're such a hoe. I know. Right. I'm a, what do they call it? I'm e-begging. E-begging? Yeah. Hey, I'm down with the lingo now, girl. Well, you want to get outside Morrison's and do it for real? Just saying. Right, we're going anyway. See you soon. Bye. Bye.